This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Police are saying that the crash that happened at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe in East Lansing was just an accident. The accident happened at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe, located at 1201 East Grand River, around 4.45 p.m. earlier this week. Police say that a young driver pressed the gas pedal while parking at the restaurant. Police say one person inside the restaurant suffered minor injuries. There's no word on how bad the damage was to the building, but the restaurant was open on Wednesday. Some frogs, fish, and turtles are hitting the road, moving out of their home in a local pond. But this migration is not caused by Mother Nature. It's man-made for their own safety. Wednesday was day two of the volunteer work day at the Fenner Nature Center. The center needs to drain the pond for biological and mechanical reasons. So to save the critters that call it home, they asked the public for some help. Frogs, tadpoles, turtles, fish, and more are all being collected by those volunteers and workers. Once the vertebrae are out of the pond, they're taken to an aerated storage tank, and their next stop is a new pond, a short golf cart ride away further in the property. If you missed out on the first two days, you can still come out to help move more of the animals on Thursday. Volunteer hours run from 11 to 4. The project affecting the pond should be complete by the end of October. Michigan State University staff have labeled some phrases as triggering. It was part of a training for student employees, according to campusreform.org. The list includes phrases like, no problem, but, and I apologize. Students were given alternative phrases called calmers. They were advised to say, I'm truly sorry, rather than I apologize. Some students disagree with those phrases being labeled as triggering. Other phrases on the list include, I don't know, it's our policy, and you should have. A spokesperson for Michigan State wrote that building inclusive communities is part of MSU's core values. During training, our student team members learn to treat guests with dignity and respect while being mindful to the differences in the way we, we perceive languages. We use our cell phones to make calls every day. Sprint customers in Holt haven't had that luxury in five days. Vicki Palmer is just one of many frustrated Sprint customers in Holt. She says that for the last week, our calls have been very muffled, drop, and, and sound like they're underwater, and just cannot make out a voice call. She can't get in touch with the people she cares about most. And Sprint released a statement to Fox 47 News and said that they had a tower issue that showed slower data and degraded voice services for some customers in the area. They said that they are working hard to resolve the issue and that they anticipate that the complete restoration of all services will happen very soon. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.